Hello guys, and welcome to new style.io video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys a complete guide to overclocking your CPU for the maximum earnings possible. If you have not already made an account on style.io, you can use the referral code XBSQHN for 2x earnings boost until you hit $4. Now, the first thing you guys want to do is to go over to Earn and go to Minor Details. Now, if you have a graphics card, then I will be linking another tutorial on how to overclock your graphics card. But if you have a very bad graphics card or do just do not have a graphics card, then this tutorial is for you. So once you select CPU, you'll probably notice you're making like just a couple cents a day. Now, there are actually some ways to actually increase your earnings. So the first thing you guys actually want to do is to go down to where it says Type Here to Search. Now type in power settings, and, and whenever you say edit power plan, you want to click this button right here. Now where it says change advanced power settings, you actually want to go up here into power options. Now depending on which CPU you have, you might have a different things. But if you have like say an AMD CPU, you might see an AMD Ryzen high performance or a high performance or whatever. Just choose whatever has high performance, and then you want to check on, click on change plan settings right here. Now, once you click change advanced power settings, go over to processor power management, minimum processor state, and maximum processor state, and change both of these to 100%. Now, this is pretty much going to make your CPU run at the absolute maximum potential it could possibly go, and this is pretty much how you overclock your CPU. So, if we go over to task manager right here, and we go over to performance, we can pretty much see that my GPU is an AMD Ryzen 7. 3700x 8 core processor and the base speed is 3.6 gigahertz so see if i choose if i uh, make the power settings go down to 99 percent then it will only go to up to 3.6 gigahertz but what actually um some uh, cpus have is they have actually a feature that allows your cpu to go overclock over the amount of gigahertz if you change the minimum and maximum to 100 percent this means it's pretty much going overboard of how fast it can go and you're getting a good amount of actual hash rate on your cpu and you're actually going to be mining a different cryptocurrency i'm pretty sure it's called monero so if we go to over to google chrome right here and we type in nice hash profitability calculator and go over over here we can pretty much type in your cpu and we can see the exact amount of profit you'll be getting after all electricity costs now where it says manual selection you want to click on this one right here now let's just say my electricity cost is six cents usd per kilowatt hour you can find this number on your um your power bill or on your um ask your landlord for it so once we actually make it 0 0.06 it will automatically calculate the profitability margins now where it says devices you can search up any cpu you want now let's go over back over to salad and it says i have an amd ryzen 7 3700 x 8 core processor let's type in this amd ryzen 7 3700 x 8 core actually i think we just do that amd ryzen 7 ryzen 7 so where it says amd ryzen 7 we should find this one that says 3700x and we found it right here now where it says calculate, as you can see, it says we're going to be making 19 cents per day on nice hash. But the thing is, we're actually making 28 cents per day. Actually, this is just the profitability after. So you'd be making around 28 cents on Salad.io with this processor, but this is before um, electricity cost, and this is also before you actually overclock your uh, thing. So if you say, say if you live in a, like a college apartment and you press calculate right here, we would be making 30 cents, pretty much 30 cents a day before it's even overclocked. And um, you can actually increase the power or change these things right here, but this is just an estimated um, amount that you actually be getting. So as you guys know, um, it's just really not a good thing to mine with your CPU, but if you just have a CPU, this is probably the amount you'll be working with. You could also have a better uh, CPU, so say if you had like an AMD Ryzen, uh, like, hmm, say if you had like a, a 5800X, let's calculate that, you'd be making 30 cents a day, see, that's not even, that's not even that much extra that you'd be actually getting, so as you guys know, it's not really that good, but you guys can also go over to task manager right here, as you guys know, a lot of tasks take up power, so you just want to close out of the tasks that actually are taking up unnecessary CPU power, you can also go where it says type here to search, you can also go over here to where it says type here to search, type in background apps, and you can pretty much 
turn off LUT apps run in the background because all of these apps are taking up unnecessary CPU power, which is taking away from your earnings. However, guys, I would heavily recommend you get a GPU because GPU mining is way more profitable and better overall for mining with Salt.io. And um, it really depends on what CPU you have, but say if we searched up like what is the best the best CPU for mining, let's see here. It would say AMD Ryzen Thread Ripper 3970. Let's let's look how much let's look how much actually this is is, is even. Okay, this is two thousand this is two thousand dollars. But let's go over to Nice Hash Profitability Calculator and we can actually see how much we can actually get for the CPU. So say if theoretically you were to have the CPU, this is the best CPU for mining. Let's go over here. CPU. Um, let's go over here. AMD Ryzen Threadripper. So AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3970. You will only be making 97 cents with the best possible CPU. And, you're not, and this is not even before electricity costs. Let's look how much electricity costs. 57 cents. That's horrible. With my RTX 2070 Super, that costs around $70. I mean, that costs... With my RTX 2070 Super, that costs around $500. You will be making one, almost $2. So don't you see how much better that is than having a $2,000 CPU? This just goes to show that having a CPU is not good for mining. But you can still make... A little bit of cash with CPU mining, a little bit of passive income. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm currently trying to get around uh, 2,000 subscribers. That's my next goal. So help me get there. Um, share this video, and yeah, peace out.